from inside Tropicana Field here in Tampa Bay. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Toronto Blue Jays taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. First pitch coming your way next. And now, your 2022 Tampa Bay So just about set now. Here's the veteran outfielder, George Springer. The 2-1. And fouled off. Swung on, belted. That one back there, and gone! George Springer leaves the yard, and they grab the lead. It's 1-0. Bo Bichette up to the dish. The 1-1. And now 2-1 and one after that missed inside. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. That one misses, and that's ball three. The real threats are coming up, already giving up a home run in this inning. It's going to really have to bear down. Fouls one away, and now three and two. And now the lefty. Left field, a Rosarena gets under it, hauls it in, and there's one away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Got him looking. Two down. Two outs, base is empty. And now Teoscar Hernandez. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And the count one and two. Two outs. Not close with that one. And the count is even two and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that is that. We go to the bottom of the first, and stepping in for the Rays, Brandon Lau. The 2-1. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Smoked on the ground a second. Gathers and throws to first. One gone, bottom half of the first. Now batting Wander Franco. One down, base is empty. And he walked him. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that walk. One down. Here is Austin Meadows. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. And that's ball four. So one out with two aboard. Now it's Randy Rosarena. Here's a 1-1 to the left side, but it is well fouled. And a pitch. Nope. Well, Boog, early on in this one, having a hard time getting settled in. He's not showing control to throw strikes, and let alone to throw it where he wants in the strike zone. This could be a tough one for him. Oh, and that deflects off his glove to first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. You can't do much better than that on a pitch that far outside of the strike zone. Got him in a chase on the two-strike count, but he wasn't fooled. He hit that ball really well. The 2-1. Swings through that. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Righty delivers. Right side. Base hit. One run is in. And they hold the runner at third. Bases remain loaded here. Still only one gone. Yandy Diaz now. 
Now fly ball to right center. Springer on the move. And that's going to be a double, and it'll score two. Choi headed for the plate. Espinal with a relay throw. He beats it safe. It's 4-1. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. Put a really nice balanced swing on it, and when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box, and he'll feel real good about that one. Well, they didn't give him anything to hit, and now with runners on first and second, they've set up a double play opportunity, so not a terrible result. Here's Mike Zanino, and a count one and two. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. Right-hander kicks, deals, swings and misses. That's out number two. Now up for Tampa Bay, Kevin Kiermeyer. Pretty amazing going way back. Possibly the best center fielder I've ever seen. And a pitch. That's off the mark, and it's two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Left-hand hitter waits. And that one fouled off. Swing and a bouncer. Off balance throw in time. And the inning is over. Back now in Tampa Bay, and it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. The wind of the pitch. Back to right. Margot makes the catch, and there's one down. And here is Matt Chapman. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Next offering misses. Ball two. This guy plays third base like he's a shortstop, and he welcomes the difficult play. Can throw from so many different angles and makes really tough plays look very easy. Margot should have this one. Makes the catch. And there are two outs. Two outs, base is empty. And now to the plate, here's the Toronto DH. Alejandro Kirk. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. In for a strike. Now it's three and two. Two strikes. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Welcome back, bottom of the second. And now it's Brandon Lau. Next pitch is outside, and the count is two and two. Singh, he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff in the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location. Sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. Here's Wander Franco. And here it comes. Ground ball, Vlad Jr. And he handles it himself for the out. Austin Meadows next to hit for the Rays. He reached out a walk his first time. And 
now two and two. Just missed. Payoff pitch. No, with the shift on, hits right into it. Fires over to Guerrero. Three up, three down, inning over. On to the third inning, and now for the Jays, Santiago Espinal. Next offering is foul back. One, two now. Upstairs. Two and two. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Kiermaier, he ranges to his right, makes the catch, and there's one gone. Now it's Jansen to hit. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. Danny Jansen. Next pitch misses way outside. And he deals. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Not sure if he could be in more of a groove. Looks really relaxed. He's retired seven straight. This guy's feeling it right now. The next pitch misses, and now three and two. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Next pitch has popped up. Franco under it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. Oh, the Next one is off the plate, and it's 2-1. and one. That clips a corner. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. Around first, digging for two. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Back here at Tropicana Field, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And stepping in is the speedy Randy Rosarena. That one down the line. Guerrero steps on the bag and a quick out number one and now the hitter G-Man Choi G-Man Choi and now the count is even the pitch up the middle what a stop fires to first and they get the out. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Now the third baseman, Yandy Diaz. Picked up a double and three runs batted in at his first at bat. Pitch misses there. Yeah, that's ball two. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Yeah, the two one hammered but foul. Line drive, base hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Manuel Margot worked to walk in his first trip to the plate. 1-1 one, one now. And there's a ball. I got two on the count. And the right hater deals. That's inside. Three and one. At the belt and fires. This one in the air right field. Hernandez settles under this one. He's got it. And that is out number three. And welcome back. And now the shortstop, Bo Bichette. 
pitch. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Well, a few things can go wrong when you are delivering a pitch. That grip, slip out of your hand, release point, wind up, all of those things. And I think it's safe to say at least one of those, if not more than one, got away from him. Next offering is downstairs. And he pumps it a strike. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out of that double play. Next one misses. Three and two now. Kicks and deals. Liner, base hit. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Struck out swinging his first time. The one two. Bichette, the lead runner out at second. Guerrero at first with no outs. Next pitch misses, and it's three and two. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Makes the catch for the out. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. 0 for 1. He flied out to right in his first trip. Next pitch has popped up. Choi under this one. He's got it. Two down. Man, he just couldn't lay off right there. Those high fastballs, they just look really good because they're eye level, but they're just about impossible to get the barrel to. The next offering misses. And a count two and one. The pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. And the pitch. 3-2 now. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. The run comes in from second. It's 4-2. Well done. Narrows the deficit with the RBI there. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infield. And look out. That one gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. This is a great opportunity for the offense. They've already scored, and now a chance to make this a really big inning. The 1-1. Fouled off left side. And the pitch. Swing, and a ball popped up. And that will drop foul. Next offering is down low. Kicks and fires. Just a weak fly ball this time. Base hit, one run in already. Save! His confidence level is so high. Really nice job of coming through in a big spot. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. One, two now. Popped up first base side. Lau gets there. He's under it. Squeezes it. And that is that. Back here at the ballpark. And the batter now, Mike Zunino. Tied at four. 
And a foul ball. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Here's Kevin Kiermeyer. The pitch. And that one wrapped foul. The one two. Popped up. Makes the grab. And there's two down. So the batting order oh, turns over. Eight. Lau at the Second plate. Now be careful with this Wednesday. guy. He's got power. He can oh. untie it with one swing. The next nope. pitch misses. And the count two and one. And that one ripped to left. Oh. And that's just foul. Righty to the plate. Just misses the mark outside the zone. And the righty deals. And now this one's a rocket to right. Way back there. Gone. Brandon Lau bops one out of here. And they jump ahead in the fourth. It's 5-4. So two away with nobody on. And stepping in for the Rays, Wander Franco. Next pitch in the dirt. And it's two and one. Left-hand batter waits. In the dirt. And the count is three and one. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game. And looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. And a rope into center field. Base hit. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Austin Meadows now. Next offering is in for a strike. One and two. And a pitch. Tap dances out of the way of that one. Franco leads off first with two down to the inning. Fires over to Guerrero. And that is the inning. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's George Springer to start it off. Aye. And the pitch is in for a strike. And it's one and two. And here it comes. Stays alive. Here comes a pitch. Up the middle. Knocks it down. No outs, runner at first. And next for Toronto, Bo Bichette. Hard liner. And out number one on the grab. The left-hander on now, Josh Fleming. Trying to protect this lead. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings. And you need a little length out of this arm. Coming out of the bullpen, we'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now.
with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. And a one-two again. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The pitch. And a foul ball. At the belt and fires. This one popped up, right side. Choi pulls it down, two away. Teoscar Hernandez next up for the Blue Jays. Fleming throws to first. And Springer's in there safely. The 1-1. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right. And that will get out of play. And now the lefty, and a swing and a miss. Third out, and that ends the frame. Back now in Tampa Bay, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Now here's the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, Randy Arozarena. The pitch. Foul ball there. Righty delivers. Now one missed. The wind of the pitch. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way, and out of here. Randy Arozarena hits one out, and they add on. It's 6-4. So they turn to the veteran pitcher in this spot, Ross Stripling. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Now up for Tampa Bay, G-Man Choi. And a 1-1. And that's, that's downed it away. We got two balls, one strike. Out to short. Bichette collects. Tosses to first. One away. That ground ball may have him back on track after the homer. Here's the third baseman, third Yandy baseman, Diaz. Yandy Diaz. Next offering is fouled back. The wind of the pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Now two away. Here's Manuel Margot. The wind to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Two down, nobody on. On the ground, right side. Fires over to Guerrero. And that is the inning. Top six. Now the left fielder, Lourdes Goriel Jr. Got him. And one away. Matt Chapman up to the plate now. One for two. The 2-2 two -two now. Stays alive. Here's a 2-2. Foul ball. Next one misses, and it's a full count. The wind of the pitch. 
Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Alejandro Kirk next up for the Blue Jays. Next offering misses. Two and one. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. The pitch. Off the mark there. Three and two now. Kicks and deals. That one fouled off. And he deals. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. And a pitch. High fly ball, right field. Marco moving under this one. Makes the grab for the second out. So up next, Santiago Espinal. Chapman off of first with two away. Slice to right. It gets down, base hit. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Danny Jansen to hit here. Danny Jansen. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Five foul balls in a row. I have no idea what that feels like, but you got to love this battle. Just wondering who's going to blink first. Two outs. Up the middle. Franco gloves it. They take the force out. That's the third out. Back here at Tropicana Field. Bottom of the six. And now the catcher for the Rays, Mike Zunino. Ball to strike. That's Good eye right there. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. 2-2 Two -two down. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Left field, pretty well struck. That's back there. And out of here. Zanino pops one out of here. And they add a run. It's 7-4. Here's Kiermaier now. Pitch misses inside. Two and one. But we just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. Next pitch off the play. Now three and one. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. He powers one out to right field, and they add to the lead. It's 8-4. So the Rays batting order turns over. Stepping in the long ball threat, Brandon Lau. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. This one's fair down the line and left, and it's going to be extra bases. Throw comes in. Runner stopped. Second and third. Nobody out. Now it's Austin Meadows.
2 2 now. And another ball. Calling for the intentional walk, and that loads up the bases. And the force play is now in order. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Next pitch has popped up, and the infield fly is called. Next to hit, G-Man Choi. The batter, the first baseman. Lau on third, Franco Joy. over at second. Meadows at first, one gone. Oh, Next man. pitch misses, it's two and two. two, two Right-handed reliever, fastball, and he gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. Stays alive. Base is loaded. One away. Out towards left center. Springer on the move. Puts the squeeze on that one. Runner tags for home. The throws offline. He's safe. And the lead is up to five. New pitcher now for the Jays, Julian Merriweather. Big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. So two down now, and here is Yandy Diaz. Here's a 1-1. And there's a ball. Right-hander kicks, deals. On a line, base hit. Franco on his way home. Here's the throw to the plate. It's offline. The run comes in. It's 10-4. Picks himself up at RBI. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Manuel Margot up to the plate. One, two to Margot. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. To the right side. Tosses to first. Inning over. Although plenty of damage done. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the center fielder, George Springer. They've got a potent lineup, and when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Makes the grab, one away. Now it's the shortstop, Bo Bichette. The 1-1. One -one. Swing and a line drive caught. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. This guy has turned into a beast. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. And it's fouled away. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that'll do it. And welcome back. Set for the last half of the seventh. Leading off, Mike Zunino. And a pitch. And he chases that one. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. 
Kevin Kiermeyer next to hit for the Rays. One for three. Kiermeyer. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. And down on strikes he goes. Two out. Digging in, Brandon Lau. He provides a surprising amount of pop from the second base position. Listen, that's not something to take lightly. Getting that kind of production from the guys up the middle, it's not a strength of most lineups. Next pitch inside, and it's two and one. And what does that do for a team when you get power from unexpected spots like that? When you're in the dugout and you see a guy come up big like that that you don't necessarily expect. Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out, and we'll end the inning. Welcome back. Ready to begin the eighth. And now, Teoscar Hernandez. Kicks and fires. Ball. They can't play around with him here. It's a six-run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters, even if you give up a solo shot. Here comes the pitch. And now it's filled up. The pitch. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Pretty good pitch on 3-2, right around the knees, but just no help from the umpire. So, man aboard, Lourdes Goriel Jr., the next to hit. The pitch. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. The pitch. High fly ball out into left center field. A Rosarena under it. Calls it in, and there's one away. Two on with one out. Alejandro Kirk digs in now. Two on, one out. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. This guy's sink has so much drop in it, it's almost like a split-finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets swings and misses. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. So up next for Toronto, Santiago Espinal. Second baseman, Santiago Espinal. Here's a 1-1. And a swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Two on, two outs. Tap back up the middle. Sends it to first. Third out. Bottom of the eighth. And here is Wander Franco. And a 3-2. Slow roll into first. A flip to the pitcher covering. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Now it's Austin Meadows. Righty deals. That misses. Two and two. And the right hater deals. Swung on, popped up left side. Hauls it in, two away. Two outs, base is empty. Next to hit, Randy Arozarena. The wind.
line of the pitch. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And that will end the inning. Matt Whistler comes on now, and he'll try to keep this big lead right where it is. Number 37, Matt Whistler. Back here at the ballpark, all set to start the ninth in this one. Now here is Danny Jansen. Kicks and deals. And a strike in there. And now it's even up. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. At the belt and fires. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Back to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup. And here is George Springer. And a foul ball. Runner leads away at second. Jansen stands at second with no outs. The next offering misses. Two and two. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. pitch smash to the left side and foul ball here's the 2-2 Springer swings through that one it's a strikeout not what you're looking for after the leadoff double a strikeout and there's one away here's the shortstop at the play Bo Bichette the 1-1 one -one. Comes up empty. That's strike two. And he deals. Chopped out in front of the plate. And Bichette is retired. So digging in, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Two outs with a runner at third. Next offering upstairs. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. And a 3-1 on the way. Little bouncer out in front of the plate. Throw the first. Ball game. And the Rays take this one in a blowout. These guys had the long ball working for them today. Four home runs had a lot to do with them coming out on top. 10-4 is how it ends. Roger Dodger, ground beef control. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chumby saying so long from Tampa Bay.
day. For the Blue Jays, four runs on eight hits, no errors. They left eight men on base.